Hello guys. Today I want to show you uh, show you something. I'm really stoked uh, because I got a new PCB today. So for a while now I was exclusively using all variants of the FigTech board. This is version five from Shimon, which still is top of the line. A really great PCB for a mesh testic or mesh core node. Uh, but I wanted to go smaller and a while ago uh, um, a member of my discord contacted me and um, posting a link to a Chinese website where a guy uh, made a really small variant um, that uses pretty much all the same hardware the fake tech version 4 uses but just a lot smaller when you compare them in size and instead of like having the LoRa module above the Pro Micro, this one is sandwiching both on each other using two sides of the PCB reducing the size by a lot and I really like this, I ordered it right away from GLC PCB when I got them I, I started soldering and building one and it worked for the biggest part, there were some issues when you take a look for example on the holes here where the display goes you can see that the whole diameter suddenly stops at ground so you were not able like to put the pins through the display another thing was on the other side there's another i square c broken out like for display for probably environmental sensor and it didn't work for me until i tested continuity and found out that it was mislabeled that he swapped SDE and SDL so you needed to swap them to make it work um, other than that uh, we have two MOSFETs instead of compared to four uh, three MOSFETs on the fake tech board um, but still like two pins left over P106 and uh, 06 were broken out so you could use them for external devices but of course uh, you would need to like put an external MOSFET if you want to use a third one in my builds I always use like a buzzer, a vibro motor and an LED and on, on top of here you can see that one that part is exactly where the Bluetooth antenna sits so I guess it's not getting like blocked uh, RF not getting blocked and so, f so far it worked really nice but another issue was like on the FigTech board you had like a cutout where you could like solder bridge um, the pads for uh, faster charging if they are not uh, bridged you only charge it with 100 milliamps and if it is bridged you charge it with 300 three times as fast which makes all the difference of course and yeah it did work but I had plans for this and Today I finally received the updated version. As you can see the cutout is gone and we are now using that for an additional MOSFET with pull down. So we can control the vibro motor. You have nice exposed pins plus and minus where you connect the vibro motor. And also on this board the three extra cheap AOs on the Pro Micro board that were sitting right underneath the Bluetooth antenna were not used. So they are broken here out uh, as well. So we can add an actual navigation switch on here directly on the board. So yes, so we have the buzzer on board controlled by a MOSFET. Um, we are, GPS was already there also controlled by a MOSFET. We now have a third MOSFET for the vibro motor and canned messages. And the problem with the boost pads I solved by just adding like a little pad on the back that shorts out the boost pads on the Pro Micro board. Yes, you do need a hot plate, but if you say, oh, I need a hot plate, that's way too expensive, you can get it for 23 euros, a cheap hot plate that totally works on Amazon and yeah that's pretty much it it is a whole bunch smaller than the Promicro uh, than the fake tech board and even features more stuff minus like on the version uh, like I said this is uh, version 5 
uh, with the BMS that is not on here um, but everything else is pretty much on here as well and to show you everything that is possible with that small board I made <laughs> I made this one as you can see here, here on the back we have the Pro Micro we have GPS we have display we have the antenna we have a vibro motor we have environmental sensor and we have the buzzer so the can't messages or just like from version 2.7 we have menu control with the navigation switch just uh, as well so you can like easily navigate through the menus and change settings uh, as you can see we already have set connection with the uh, GPS um, module here even so I'm inside and normally inside I don't get any connection at all but those little u blocks ones are really good even better outside because I have a lot of interference in here with all my electronic devices so this is pretty pretty nice um, yeah display of course antenna vibro motor is connected up here uh, I can show you the environmental sensor here you go yeah the temper temperature readout is not right here but it's all it's always been buggy like on mesh testing it's mostly when it updates then it's sometimes right also if you, even if you don't have like uh, current sensor or anything else sometimes it just shows this, uh, shows it for some reason um, yeah battery readout is also working the battery here is pretty much half full which pretty much is spot on with 53 percent and here is a really big LED just for showcase normally you can like uh, use a smaller LED somewhere else of course but you would be also able to like directly use a 1206 LED in between the pads on the PCB I'm gonna send a message now quickly so you can see everything is working message message let's say a good morning and as you heard saw and not felt but you did see the little vibe mode jump like crazy everything is working and this is pretty much amazing because you have like such a small board now that pretty much features every possibility you can connect to a mesh testing node we have the navigation switch with rumble motor environmental sensor display gps of course gps you can enable and disable it as you can see it now it is active and to show you that the mosfet setup works i'm gonna head over to the sets and i'm gonna toggle it off and GPS is off. When I toggle it on again, bam, back on. And yeah, this is crazy. I mean, I was like building that little the, the bumblebee node with the original uh, board I tested, and now with that one, a similar size build is possible featuring everything like even GPS it's gonna be a little bit bigger of course but yeah this is super sweet of course when the Pro Micro is on here my beautiful logo will be covered but don't you worry we have a small one down here and yeah uh, like I said you can use pretty much all the same parts you would use for a fake tech version 4 build the only difference, uh, of course, of, of course, the only difference are the pull-down resistors. Every other part, like the, the voltage divider, the resistors are still like 1206 size, and the pull-downs, the 10 kilo ohm pull-downs, are the next smaller size, the 8036, I think. But yeah, uh, you're gonna need that very small 50 times 20 times something buzzer but that's pretty much about it and of course the the navigation switch you're gonna need as well in addition and of course you don't have to use any you can like simply like connect the pads and put it somewhere else but 
everything is on here so you can like build a fully fledged node small or big it doesn't really matter everything is on this little PCB and yeah that's pretty 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 cool I'm gonna share the link for the GABA files you can directly upload and order from your favorite uh, PCB producer I always send them to GLC PCB you can use anyone else of course and yeah this is um, I'm looking forward to like building a lot of new and very compact small nodes with that board because it's so small and features everything you could want from a node this is gonna be a lot of fun thanks for watching I post the link down below to the Gerber file and you can look forward for a lot of funny new builds using that new PCB. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.